Due to the cold, I stopped building the yacht's hull and started making a wind vane self steer. It's a very efficient wind vane, pendulum type, i.e., with a pendulum servo. The normal version by David Tyler design used by most sailors, efficient and effective. And this is uh, the special split version developed for my Anna Lucia 2. The main difference is that the upper part, the wind vane assembly, is separate from the lower part, a swing actuator. This is the base of the upper part, the wind vane assembly. I mount a rotating turret at in, uh, and there will be a steering line to set the in relation to the direction of the wind, i.e. the yacht course. The wind vane will be mounted on it here. I'm still waiting for delivery of metal fittings, hinges and a 5mm rod that will be the axis. The polyethylene washer comes here. There will be a lead weight mounted here to keep the vane vertical. If the vane is in line with the wind, as is now, and the yacht changes course slightly, the wind will immediately hit the vane. Lines that will be attached around the drum and really go down this way will be attached to the oar and set it accordingly sideways to the direction of the water flow. The lower part, the pendulum servo, consists of a carrier and the blade. I haven't drilled the hole for the axe here yet. The oar can be lifted when not in use. The second part will be mounted here, when the oar is set with the line at the angle, the whole thing will tilt aside by the waterfalls, this way or that way. There will be a line attached at the top, which will run from both sides of the yaw to the tiller. The mounting frame is still missing. And here is the axis mark that will be a swing axis. Here will be attached to the frame. That's all. Very simple construction, reliable, already proven. And this version is designed by David Tyler for Anna Lucia 2. She has a very high stern. A normal wooden wouldn't work. In a split version, the vein turret assembly have a clear wind on the top and the servo will be mounted down here in the water. What? I can't believe my eyes, really. Wind vane works. Nice, vigilant, does not take electricity. So for now I have pre-connected the control lines. It works, but looks so-so. And there's the manager. Two weeks later, in the North Sea, still working beautifully, approaching Skagerrak. The last day of the voyage, or voyage, almost 2,000 nautical miles total. I'm sailing with the full wind, running on a butterfly, wing to wing, diagonally across the Pomerian Bay, straight to Jivnov. Apparent wind is about 8 knots. I go 4 to 5. Beautiful sailing, calm, steady. And the vein is made up of Upper Silesia flag with Upper Silesian Golden Eagle.